Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to AV Astronomy Aaron here. I've got a really exciting evening planned. Uh, this is going to be the first light with the 8 inch RC and off access guider, as well as the QHY 5174 model camera. A little nervous about the new rig. You know how it goes when you're trying some, a whole new setup basically for the first time. There's always a uh, fear of some gremlins just messing everything up. But anyway, uh, sun has just set and um, heading into town to grab some grub. When I get back, I'll be setting up and show you guys what I've got planned for the evening. Stay tuned. This has been a crazy evening after spending literally the past three hours trying to figure out what the heck I was doing wrong with this OAG. It dawned on me after going back inside several times, checking the forums, and I was getting these gray streaks across the screen. I couldn't figure out, man, I racked it, focus in and out like the entire range. Could not get anything to come up but these streaks. And it turned out I just had the OAG in the wrong way. I had the prism facing the wrong direction. It was something that simple. Once I got that straightened out, I just wish I could have figured it out sooner, but this is kind of how this hobby goes, guys. I mean, you can try and plan and have everything ready to go, and especially when you're trying out a new gear setup, it can be really challenging, but I'm just now finished calibrating in PhD. I've got M81 in my sights, and I'm about ready to start imaging, so... Hopefully the subs that will be coming up here soon will be uh, will be really good. Stay tuned. All right, this is the first test sub. I think that's coming in pretty good. There you go. This is coming out to for this imaging plan. Uh, what seems to work best for tonight, and given my situation, and I am not using a CLS filter tonight, guys. This is just straight up camera through the telescope here but with this imaging plan I'm, I'm at f8 ISO 1600 with 320 second sub frames I'm gonna try and squeeze in 30 something frames tonight it's already 12 I probably won't be done till about 3 or 4 in the morning but hey that's okay I'm just glad I finally got this all up and running it feels good to uh, know I've worked out the kinks here and, and if I get another clear night tomorrow night let's get another uh, 40 or so frames in so anyway I'm gonna let this run check on it periodically and hopefully the dew will hold off too in the meantime it has just been brutal tonight but um, anyway just wanted to give you guys an update the imaging session is going quite well guys it calls for a little celebration I'm really excited that uh, everything's finally up and running um, it's about 12 30 and I think I'm gonna be, I think I'm gonna be at this for at least another few hours to get the 30, 30 or five, 30 or 35 frames in. Keep working on my liquid blanket. It's freezing, but cold out here. 30, 29 degrees, something like that Fahrenheit. And uh, the humidity is is killer right now. It's it's really high, so dew and frost are forming up on everything, and just making it that much more fun. But Anyway, I will check back in with you guys, let you know how the rest of the evening goes, okay? Oh, it's about 2.30 in the morning, and I'm about 24 frames in. And I just got to thinking, if it's one thing 
I've gotten out of this session tonight. It's preparation is key. And it has inspired me to do another video on how to use and set up an off access guider. So if, if I can help prevent you guys from having the headache and waste of time I had this evening uh, of almost throwing in the towel a couple of times on this and just saying, you know what, I don't think long focal length is for me. I think I just need to stick to, to wide angle uh, astrophotography. Um, there's going to be a video for you guys on this. So I'll, I'll set it up in a way that you'll see it's, it's really, once you get it down, it's really not that bad. And, uh, and it's been tracking quite well. I've been averaging about 0 0.6, 0 0.65 total RMS, which for me is really good. I attribute most of that to the fact that it is on a, uh, it's, it's guiding with a longer focal length scope and not a, you know, 200 millimeter guide scope. So that you're getting a little bit tighter, uh, guiding from that. Not to mention this is in poor scene condition. So I'm getting 0 0.65 with poor. I imagine, you know, with average or even decent scene conditions, I'll get way better. So really excited about that. And honestly, the way this has been going, I don't, you know, I don't see why I would want to go back to using a guiding scope um, other than the, the ease of setup initially. But once you get this down, man, this is, it's great. But uh, I'm about to wrap it up for the evening, guys. It's, I've got about 25 frames in. I'm going to try and squeeze in five more tomorrow night. Now that I know... How to get this all set up, got the kinks worked out. I'm going to shoot for another 30 or 40 frames. And with any luck, I'll be stacking 60 to 70 subframes of M81 at 1600 millimeter focal length at F8. So looking forward to seeing what that produces. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the flip side.